Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome to the Cooklin channel. I'm Dave and you're in my kitchen. If you've been here before, welcome back. Thanks for coming. And if it's your first time here, welcome aboard. Uh, welcome to the Cooklin channel. We're cooking in Brooklyn and stick around. You might learn something. Uh, if you haven't done this before, please hit the subscribe button somewhere down below and um, notification bell so you can get alerted as to when I drop new episodes. Um, full episodes, shorts, uh, Instagram, the Cooklin Channel, email the Cooklin Channel at gmail.com, TikTok the Cooklin Channel. I'm all over the place. <laughs> you can find me. I'm not. I'm not hard to find. I ain't hiding. It's summer. Um, trying to make some simpler meals and uh, try to cut down on the time that I spend in the kitchen. So the many, the, the more things you can get that are like set it and forget it. Um, I say the merrier. Um, today what we're gonna try to make is this ultimate stuffed baked potato. We got some pretty big rusted potatoes here, and um, well, the idea is that this is going to be the whole. This is going to be almost the whole thing. Uh, we're not going to be looking for a whole bunch of sides and all this. And all this. this is like a side of the main. This is going to be. It's going to be a side of the main, in the same uh, in the same sentence. You know what I'm saying? So uh, what I did was try to get the biggest potatoes I could find. That way, nobody can be unsatisfied. You may be able to get seconds out of this thing. Check it out. So the first thing we got to do is get these cleaned up. So I'm going to head over to the sink and um, I just got a little vegetable brush or um, vegetable brush or a brand new clean uh, sink sponge with a little green scrubby works awesome as well. Um, so you just want to, you know, this is something that was grown in the dirt. I enjoy eating the potato skin, so I definitely want to wash this thoroughly, make sure all that dirt is off. I mean, you know. God made dirt, dirt don't hurt, but it don't mean I got to go ingest some on purpose. You know what I'm saying? So let me get over to the sink and wash these potatoes. Potatoes are all washed, right? So squeaky clean. Ooh, squeaky clean just the way we like them. First thing we're going to do is try to get these potatoes in the oven. You know what I'm saying? Because we want to um, cut the amount of time we spend in the kitchen, right? So I'm going to just... Give these a little oil, and I'm just using canola oil. You can use any oil that you um, that you have on hand, vegetable oil, uh, olive oil, and just give your potatoes a little toss so that they're coated with oil. I like the potato skin, so I want the potato skin to have flavor as well. So I'm gonna just thoroughly salt these, give them a little jiggle, a little toss right and that's all you need for the outside of potato skin um, any other seasoning you put on the potato will burn will char salt is great it's going to withstand the temperature of the oven which i have preheated to 425 so without further ado just arrange your taters on a baking sheet i like to use this rack so i can get air and heat all around and it's up off of the bottom no sticking no little hot spot on the bottom um just for a more even cook spread them out get them room so that the air can circulate where's my trusty uh, i put a little bit of a uh, slit right in the top and that will reduce the uh, the pressure building up and a potato explosion. Although, if there was a potato explosion, which I haven't seen yet, that would be kind of cool. <laughs> I just, I focus in the oven, 425, and that part is your set it and forget it. The potatoes are going to take about 45 minutes to cook. 
And in that 45 minutes, all you got to do is grab a beer. And relax. Not. Um, if you wanted to feed your family plain potatoes, yes, absolutely. Grab your beer and uh, and chillax. And since we're making the ultimate stuffed potato, we got more work to do. But here we go. What are we gonna put in this ultimate stuffing? Bacon, because everything's better with bacon. Turkey bacon. Because nothing's better with turkey bacon, but it's what my son eats. Steak, because steak. And chicken, because that's what my son eats. I mean, chicken's cool. Chicken's, chicken's cool, right? Right? All right, let's do it. The siren song of Brooklyn. Cops and firemen and ambulances interrupted my shit. Don't you love it? Yeah, I think I live in a war zone. I realized this because I was watching some of my episodes and eight out of ten times there's a siren in the background somewhere. I don't really live in a war zone. I live in, right in between three hospitals, three major hospitals. So there's always an ambulance going. Don't, 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 don't get it twisted. I don't, you know, I don't live in the suburbs, but yeah, it's, it's all right over here. It's not bad. It's just, it's, just, it's just ambulances. Somebody fell down, hurt their ankle. Nobody got shot. Seasoning. Uh, let's get all this stuff seasoned up, and we're just going to make a rub, right? I've measured for you guys. You know how much I hate it, but I did it. A teaspoon each, and just, I just make it simple. I'm not good at all half and quarters. Screw that. This is a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of pepper, Teaspoon of paprika. This is smoked paprika. A teaspoon of garlic, granulated garlic, and a teaspoon of granulated onion. Basic as hell seasoning. I don't like to throw my whole uh, kitchen cabinet at every meal that I make. Some people's gonna put in adobo and seasoned salt and something else to this celery salt and and lorries or something. Don't go crazy. Keep it simple. This is just, you know, this is a good general basic seasoning for um, that can pretty much go on or with anything. So, here we go. Sprinkle from high so that you get your coverage. If you sprinkle down here, you're going to get spots because you're not spreading in the love. So it's not a fancy thing that you see chefs and people doing. It's not flourish. It's really a technique so that you're getting the most spread of your seasoning in the least amount of time. Keep your meat uh, close together so that you're not wasting uh, seasoning the board. One word out of you, Smith, about that meat. Out the door. Uh, I'm using a, um, a chicken steak. Uh, it has a nice, a fair amount of marble into it. And um, this cut is, is usually thin and, and, uh, and easy to cook, cooks quickly. I'm going to get this bacon in the oven. This bacon, I'm just going to throw it in the skillet. We got the ball rolling. So I'm going to just spray a grill pan down with a little bit of cooking spray to keep stuff from sticking. And we're just going to get our meat on. Let's find a good spot. Right about there. And these are so thin. They're going to cook it for no time. Okay, after a couple minutes, these are looking good. I'm just going to get them off onto their individual boards so that they can rest. I'm just going to get this over on the counter and cover them with foil to rest. It's important to rest your meat because it's going to 
redistribute all the juices and it's going to definitely make it much more tender, a, a better bite, right? So give that a couple minutes to rest. I'm going to check my potatoes. They're looking good. Just grab a knife and once you can pierce it without any resistance, you know that your potatoes are done. Glad I put them on a long time ago. Just let them go and, um, you know, they do their own thing. Okay, our potato feast is just about complete. Uh, the last thing, first is the last, and the last is the first. I'm just going to get our potatoes out. This is our ultimate stuffed baked potato feast. Um, so what we got going on here, that grilled steak, that grilled chicken, and I just sliced it up really nice and fine so you can kind of sprinkle it around. You know what I mean? And we've got our bacon. The womp womp bacon. So you can add that to the mix. We've got cheddar and some and some uh, some pepper jack cheese. So you can go either way. You can mix and match. You can make this, you can make this the ultimate. I'm gonna make this the ultimate. I'll, I'll, I'll mix it all up together. A little bit of sour cream. Some butter, of course, with a potato. What's better than that? And some chopped scallions just to finish it off. This is just pure awesomeness. And, you know, it's like, it's almost like a sandwich. You're just going to get, get you know, you grab, grab a plate, you pile everything on your on, on your potato, and then you just dig in and, and, and get it going. And it's, it's all a little compact meal. And very, very filling, very fulfilling. And just to lighten things up, just a little toss salad, cucumbers, some mixed greens, and you know what I mean? It's just something simple. Thanks for watching the Cooking Channel. This has been the ultimate stuffed baked potato feast. Um, I hope that you do this. If you do, snap a picture, take a little video, send it to me. Let me see what you did. Let me see what what things that you added. Maybe you do something. Maybe you do something different. Maybe you bring something else to the ultimate baked potato, the ultimate stuffed baked potato <laughs> feast. So until next time, thanks for watching Cook on Channel. I'm Dave. You've been in my kitchen and uh, I'm out. Peace.